European brokers, including Invesco and Wisdom Tree, are cutting their spot Bitcoin ETF fees by over 60% on European BTC products following the US SEC's approval of spot Bitcoin ETFs from major players like BlackRock, Fidelity, and Invesco. This has led to an unprecedented supply of new products for US investors who previously had to look to Canadian or European providers for exchange traded exposure to the cryptocurrency. In response to the changing landscape, Wisdom Tree and Invesco have taken proactive measures by cutting fees on their European listed Bitcoin ETPs by over 60%. Wisdom Tree's physical Bitcoin ETP fees will fall from 0.95% to 0.35%, while in West Coast will drop from 0.99% to 0.9%. Both fee adjustments will take effect before the end of the month. The SEC's decision has boosted investor in interest into cryptocurrency and positively impacted Vanex European business. Senior investment manager Peter Sleep noted that US listed products may be more attractive to European investors due to increased liquidity and a larger market. Hani TF CEO Hector McNeil emphasized the importance of spreads, tax, and custody in investment decisions, noting that US ETF price wars have settled around 30 basis points, making it challenging for providers to be profitable unless they attract significant assets under management. SEC Commissioner Hester Cryptomom Pierce has stated that a lawsuit will not be necessary to approve spot Ether exchange traded fund applications. She cited the Grayscale Court ruling that preceded the approval of spot Bitcoin ETFs in the US as a precedent for the SEC's approach. Pierce acknowledged that the facts and circumstances vary greatly with each ETF application and that hearing from a court that the approach was wrong will certainly stick with them. BlackRock, Wanek, ARK21 shares, Fidelity, Invesco Galaxy, Grayscale and Hashtags are among the spot Ether ETF applicants who are vying for SEC approval. The SEC must decide on Vanex's applications by May 23, ARC 21 shares by May 24, Hashtags by May 30, Grayscale by June 18 and Invesco by July 5. Fidelity and BlackRock's applications must be decided by August 3 and August 7. Baltanos recently told Cointelegraph that it seems likely that Ether ETFs now have a straight shot at approval and it was difficult to imagine a scenario where spot Bitcoin ETFs are approved while spot Ether ETFs are not. Grayscale's Bitcoin ETF sold 80,000 BTC in the first seven days of its trading launch, while nine other spot Bitcoin ETFs, including BlackRock, iShares, Bitcoin Trust and Fidelity's Wise Origin Bitcoin Fund, purchased over 100,000 BTC. Well, this represents 53% of all Bitcoin amassed by MicroStrategy, a major Bitcoin investor over the past three years. The firm held an aggregate of 189,150 BTC as of December 26, 2023 and had crossed the 100,000 BTC mark in roughly 300 days, announcing it held 105,085 BTC in June 2021. In the upcoming segment, we will update you about the following news. iCandy partners with Mata Labs to boost Web3 Gaming with ZK Candy. Denari secures $10 million seed funding expands crypto asset offerings. More to receive up to 2 million OP grant from the Optimism Foundation. Stay tuned for more updates.